All right, let's look at how to prompt for a yes or no answer and then return either true for yes and false for no. So I'm going to create a function, and because I want a true or false, I'm going to make it a Boolean function, and I'm going to call this prompt yes, no. And I want to receive from the programmer a string that is basically some text that I'm going to display. So I'm going to display my text and then I'm going to display a prompt for yes or no and then I want to get something and return a value. So my first of all my return value is going to be a boolean value value and so I'm going to call this a yes no And then this yes, no value is going to be set based on a loop. So I'm going to have this do while loop. And so while something, I'm going to loop. And then I want to return afterwards the yes, no value. Which should be either true or false. And I can go ahead and initialize it to false for now. So then I prompt the user. So how do I prompt the user? Well, first of all, I write some statement there. So I do a C out and I tell them whatever text is given to me. And then after that, I want to give them instructions. And tell them enter y for yes or n for no. And this then allows me to basically tell them what they what what kind of input I want. And then it makes it much cleaner because even if they send some text that doesn't make sense, I still have something that kind of overrides it. So now I want to also have a value here to keep track of the text that's given me. So I will um, maybe it's some value from the user. And I'm going to read that value in. Put that into value and then I want to work with the value but first of all the value could be any number of capital or lowercase letters and I want to make sure it's something I can work with easily so I have to figure out what can I work with well I am pretty good at handling lowercase so let's convert the entire string to lowercase vert to lowercase and we can do that fairly easily with a for loop so we do for and i some integer equals zero and then while the i is less than the length of the string so value dot length we want to increment i and then what we want to do is take each letter one at a time and convert them to lowercase so i'll take value i equals to lower value i. So what I'm doing is I'm covering each one of these characters one at a time to lowercase in place and then I have a lowercase string. Next I want to check for values. So if my value equals let's say they give me a full yes all lowercase now then what I want to do is convert it to just a Y to make it simple. So I'll do value equals Y. And if they give me a no, then I want to convert that to something easier as well. So this makes it so it's more usable so I can take other values besides just Y and N. And you can have multiple ones you decide to accept. 
then I want to actually try to do something with it. So if value equals y, it can't be yes anymore, then what I want to do is set the yes no equal to, well, true. And if the value is no, then I want to set my yes no to false. Although it's already false, so I can just ignore that one. And then I want to break out of this loop as soon as I either have a Y or an N. So I can do, I want to make sure that this is, this is the looping condition, right? So if the value is not equal to Y and the value is not equal to N, then I want to loop again and then display the text and prompt. All right, so now we've got this, well, prompt yes, no written. So now let's jump down into this code right here. So I do a C out and I will, maybe I'll just print out a, just run it directly. So I'll have my return value. Um, so status maybe. So my bool status is equal to prompt yes, no. And I want to give it some text. Do you want to continue? And then I will get an answer back. And then I can display what the answer is or do something with it. So if status, that means it's true, then I'm going to display a message saying, yes, they want to continue. And if I don't get that, then I will assume that I got a false because that's the only other option. And so I can have a message here. Nope, they do not want to continue. All right, so now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So I've run the code. It says, do you want to continue? And I say, uh, not sure. And it says, nope, they do not want to continue. Oh, uh, because I had no. Oops. All right. So I'll run the code again. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? And I'll say, maybe. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? Uh, negative. Do you want to yes or no? Um, N. And then it exits out. So you can see how to prompt for it. You might need to watch for individual things such as the no sure. Um, and you could always do that by reading in a longer string and then converting it. But this shows you how to have a prompt. You can have some text sent in. The text can be there in your prompt. And then you can get whatever values you want. You can validate them, clean them up. And it makes your main code much cleaner because I'm not writing all in the main. I'm writing all this code in the function and all I do is call the function and it's much simpler.